I have in my head images that need to get out. So I do everything I can do to reflect my own worldview, my own particular way of seeing. I work in two different kinds of modes. I either work on a location production or on a soundstage production, and it's usually between three and four weeks. And during that period, we'll make like eight or nine pictures. For me, light is the way I tell a story. It's my narrative. Many of the pictures have upwards to 30 or 40, sometimes 50 light sources. Everything from a small light in a car to 10K lights in cranes. I shoot with an 8x10 camera because of the extraordinary amount of detail. It's one of the reasons the pictures have this absolute clarity and depth of field. The entire body of work is called Beneath the Roses, but they're all untitled because I want them to remain open-ended. That photograph is part of the first production from this body of work, and it was a group of snow pictures we did, which really proved to be very challenging. There wasn't a lot of snow, so we actually wound up making snow. In that particular picture, we got very lucky. The day before, there was a snowstorm, and it was really about the triad relationship between the man in the car, the sole man walking down the street, and then the woman in the cafe. And to make that more emblematic, I chose Brief Encounter to be the title of the film on the marquee. Well, that picture, the boy, I just found him in that neighborhood. We were making another photograph and he started hanging around the set and I just found him to be really compelling. I was very nervous about putting him in a picture because he has never been in a photograph before and I didn't want him to be overwhelmed by the whole experience. But once we put him underneath the bridge, I knew he was absolutely perfect. The scale of the picture is very important. In a book, there are certain things for all the photographs you can never see. So the scale of these pictures, smaller details come out. One of them in that picture is the group of young kids hanging out away from him, which I think increases the sense of solitude. The picture of the woman on the bed with the newborn child was made on a soundstage. It's a very different way of working than the location pictures because in that case you have to work with a very large art department, build all the facades, pick the wallpaper, pick the carpet and the fixtures in the bathroom. When I was touring the show with my contact from Epson, we were obviously remarking on the clarity of the pictures, but in this one particular case, he pointed out that there was microbanding on the surface of the image, and I had to then correct him and say, that was just the pattern of the screen door of the hotel room. I think that only an Epson print could capture that sense of detail that I'm looking for. Well, I want to make a photograph of a burning house in a kind of desolate landscape. It wound up being this amazing, sort of beautiful spectacle, but in the end, that picture, like all the other photographs, at the core, it's a very quiet and very still picture. Well, this body of work is the product of three years. It's been four productions, and it's in three galleries, one in New York, one in London, and one in Los Angeles. Previous to this exhibition, I was working with digital sea prints. I had to work in a larger commercial lab, and I would have to, every few days, go up and look at a test strip or a proof print and then come back a few days later to look at another one. And it was a very frustrating, very fragmented process. Primarily because of the frustration of working with larger labs, I decided that I wanted to go in-house. We made this entire body of work all on the Stylus Pro 11880. I was absolutely thrilled to know that I could make all my final prints in my studio, maintaining control of the entire process. Previously, in certain photography circles, there was a resistance to inkjet prints as them being not photographic in nature. For me, these pictures really resist any of that criticism. Each print is 59 inches by 90 inches. I'm really struck when I see people looking at the photographs that they are viewing them as if they've never seen a print quite like this because of the absolute sense of clarity and detail. For me, all of the advanced technology here, the Epson printing process, allows me to make my pictures feel like my own, that they're part of my particular view of the world.